Dear all, welcome to the playlist of sensors and transducers. In this video, I'll be discussing photoelectric transducers. First of all, I'll take you these diagrams. Could you be able to observe these diagrams? These diagrams are related to the part of spacecraft vehicles. You can able to see this kind of solar panel, uh, the main body of spacecraft vehicle. Here we are going to use these kind of photoelectric transducers. These images has been taken from website of NASA. Okay. So in this context, I would like to inform you that the importance of photoelectric transducers that is mainly focusing in the area of spacecraft vehicles. So that is why we are going to learn about photoelectric transducers. Let's understand what do you mean by photoelectric transducer? What are the different types of photoelectric transducers available? How does photoelectric transducer operate? And finally, we can enlist few applications of photoelectric transducers. Let's have a brief discussion on photoelectric transducers. What do you mean by photoelectric transducers? Do you have any idea? In fact, photoelectric transducer convert the light energy into electrical energy. That means one form of energy to another form of energy. Input will be light energy. You will be getting the output as electrical energy. It may be in the form of current, voltage, resistance, conductance, etc. It is normally made up of semiconducting material. Usually, the photoelectric transducers are made up of photosensitive material or photosensitive element. And whenever light falls over the material, electrons will be generated. So that's a peculiarity of photosensitive materials. Whenever light strike over the photosensitive elements, the following observation will be made. Number one, electrons may flow or else voltage may be developed else current may be developed or else a resistance or conductance change that will be happening. So these are the few observations which you can able to observe in the in, in the case of uh, photo resistive or sorry photosensitive material. Okay. I will show you a typical scheme a diagram of photoelectric transducer. So it is made up of as I told you photosensitive elements. Normally it is made up of semiconducting material. Semiconducting material coated with the so photosensitive material. Say this is semiconducting material and we are having the coating of photosensitive element. Whenever radiation falls over the material, what is going to happen? Electrical output will be generated. It may be either voltage or it may be current or it may be in the form of resistance. This will be observed in case of a photoelectric transducer. The discharge of electrons vary the property of photosensitive element. The current induces the devices. It may be in the form of voltage or it may be in the form of resistance or conductance. Okay. So this is the basic idea about photoelectric transducer. The input will be light or radiation. You can call radiation. Output will be electrical quantity. Whenever light falls over the material, electrons will be generated. That is the normal case which is happening in case of photoelectric transducers. Okay. So look at the schematic diagram. This will help you. You know that the mobility of electron, whenever the radiation falls over the material, the mobility of electron produces because of mobility of electron produces and uh, the following observation will be made. For example, resistance changes, changes in conductance or else changes in output current and changes in output voltage. The following uh, observation will be made uh, whenever radiation falls over the material. Okay. The material should made up of photosensitive material. That's another peculiarity. How do you classify photoelectric transducer? It can be classified as photo emissive cell, photovoltaic cell, photoconductive cell, photodiode, and finally phototransistor. This is a taxonomy or classification of photoelectric transducer. Let us have individual discussion. What do you mean by photoemissive cell? The definition of photoemissive cell is as follows. The photoemissive cell convert photons into electricity. It comprises of both anode and cathode. And also anode and cathode are coated with the photosensitive material. You can call it as photoemissive material. Normally, we are going to employ calcium antimony. That's a material. Uh, it is, it is to, totally photosensitive. Clear? How does it operate? Let us consider the diagram of photoemissive cell. We have emitter. 
okay and we are having uh, anode also emitter you can call cathode cathode or emitter and uh, the total body has been enclosed with the glass like the opaque surface normally it is made up of opaque a, a photosensitive material it is having high refractive index definitely it will directly absorb the light okay and also we have to consider the anode and cathode so cathode stand for emitter anode stand stand for collector both anode and cathode that is coated with the photo emissive material especially case uh, cesium uh, antimony clear whenever the light falls you can able to observe whenever the light falls over the material definitely uh, electron flow will be taken place electrons will be generated as a result the circuit will be completed and there will be deflection in the meter if you are connecting a galvanometer it shows a deflection so with respect to falling light electrons will be generated movement of electron takes place when if i connect a galvanometer you can able to observe the deflection so this is the basic operation of photo emissive material or photo emissive transducer so anode is kept to the positive potential thus the photoelectric current start flowing uh, through the anode the magnitude of current let us make a conclusion uh, the magnitude of current that is directly proportional to the intensity of radiation or intensity of light passes through it so that point also you have to recall so this is the way how does photo emissive material operate you have to find out the circuit diagram or schematic diagram then you have to tell that we are having anode and cathode both are made up of uh, suitable coating there will be opaque surface okay finally as the incident ray passes over the material or passes over the emitter the electron flow takes place once you made the connection in this manner circuit will be completed you will be getting the deflection that means the incident radiation incident light that is directly proportional to the current flowing through the device so this is the way how photo emissive material operate let me discuss about the second device that is called photo conductive cell let us consider the schematic diagram so we are having a semiconductor material you can able to see this is a semiconductor material and we are having the ceramic base also the semiconductor material that is totally photosensitive whenever light falls whenever light falls over the semiconductor material definitely uh, it resistance that is getting reduced so resistance will come down or you can call it the resistivity we can able to say that resistivity comes down resistivity you can call it as rho resistivity or you can write in terms of resistance also the resistivity comes down okay so whenever resistivity come uh, so, so whenever light falls over the material the resistivity comes down definitely support definitely what is going to happen it assists the movement of electron if the resistivity comes down that means it support for the movement of electron okay so the material that allows the movement of current okay so this principle can be applied in the area of light dependent resistor which can be used in street light ldr you must have heard about ldr light dependent resistor so the photoconductive cells convert light into electric current so it is normally made up of uh, calcium selenide germanium silicon with a suitable photosensitive element whenever light falls over the the changes in conductivity that will be taken place with respect to that uh, there will be movement of electrons okay it is not a uh, active transducer this is basically a passive transducer because we require a power source to operate this okay this is the way how photoconductive cells operate one of the application ldr ldr based to street light ldr is one of the device that is a typical example for photoconductive material or photoconductive cell full form of ldr is light dependent resistor now i would like to discuss one of the most popular example that is called photovoltaic cell as you can observe this is a photovoltaic cell uh, we are having a semiconductor pn junction pn junction okay and uh, we'll be providing a anti reflecting coating okay whenever light falls over the material definitely electron hole pair will be generated that means there will be movement of electron the whenever light falls over the material obviously electron hole pair will be generated so that light energy that will be directly proportional to current flowing through the circuit if you connect a load what is going to happen the bulb will be lamp will be glowing you can able to observe lamp is getting glow that means light energy that is be directly proportional to the intensity of the lamp 
that means current flow light energy will be directly proportional to current flow one of the main uh, thing which are regarding photovoltaic cell is this is an active transducer this is an active transducer because there is no external power is required but in case of the pre photoconductive cell which i explained bit early you can observe the previous slide so for photoconductive cell we require a power source but uh, in case of photovoltaic cell we do not require any power source okay uh, as the light falls over the material electron fold pair will be generated thus if you connect a load the load will be going to operate so this is the way how photovoltaic cell the working principle of photovoltaic cell is photovoltaic effect and you can observe the symbol of photovoltaic cell so in input will be light rays radiation you will be getting the voltage or current in the output side okay so positive negative you will be getting the output either it may be voltage or you can call current so the principle of operation is photo photovoltaic effect you can able to see there is a glass lens okay it is, and there will be an anti reflection coating also input will be solar radiation and we are having pn junction definitely uh, the n type material up in the upper layer p type material p type silicon material in the lower layer there will be a depletion layer okay depletion layer uh, once the light passes over the the thickness of the depletion layer will be reduces as a result electron hole pair will be generated if i connect a circuit obviously there will be electron flow electron flow so electron flow is known as current movement of current charge is in motion that is called current okay if i connect a uh, potential if i connect a voltmeter you can able to get a certain voltage like 0.7 volt from a single cell you can able to generate 0.7 volt correct so this is a basic idea about photovoltaic cell it is an active transducer because there won't be any external power required no power is required to operate the device now i would like to discuss about the one more type of device that is called a photodiode so photodiode will be operating in the reverse biased condition you can able to see so p is connected to negative and n is connected to positive obviously uh, this is a pn junction reverse biased condition reverse biased condition initially it offers bulk amount of resistance i am explaining about the working as the light falls over the junction what is going to happen the resistance the depletion barrier thickness of the depletion barrier comes down the thickness of depletion barrier that will be reduces this results the movement of current okay so as the light passes over the junction the current will be generated okay so the thickness the thickness of the depletion layer comes down so the electrons of the semiconductor material start moving from the photo diode absorb the light energy initially it is in the reverse biased condition once the light falls over the material the depletion layer comes down it is going to conduct this type of devices are known as photodiode objective examination you can able to expect some question like uh, photodiode is operating in dash condition either forward or reverse you have to select the reverse biased condition now i would like to discuss about one more device that is called a photo transistor so the photo in order to construct the photo transistor definitely we require an opaque container and a photo resistive material so it is a device uh, that converts light energy into electric energy it produces either current or voltage or it may be in both current and voltage or you can call power uh, the thing is we need a base with the photo sensitive element whenever the light fall over the base material whenever the light is going to fall over the base material what is going to happen the current start flowing because of that continuous base current the transistor is getting operated thus you will be getting the suitable amplification so that you will be getting the output okay it will act as a switch basically the transistor will act as a switch here whenever light falls over the material the base the base will be activated because of that base current start flowing okay it will reflect reflects in the output side the element absorb the light and the current start flowing through the base to the emitter of the device so it will act as a switch initially initially it will be open circuit whenever the light falls over the material that become a short circuit that means it will be closed the current is converted into voltage okay this base current will be converted into voltage you will be getting the output so this is the way how photo transistor is operated what is the difference between conventional type of signal transistor and photo transistor in signal transistor it is it is not made up of opaque or it is not made up of photo sensitive element but in case of photo transistor the base is made up of photo sensitive material or opaque surfaces there will be opaque surface that is required otherwise it cannot able to capture the light okay 
what are the major advantages of uh, photo electric transducer it is sensors all kind of material longer durability and uh, high sensing range fast response cheap and uh, retro reflective type can detect transparent object also okay so these are the few advantages of a photo electric transducer if i talk about opposite end on the drawback let us see the drawbacks of photo transistor the main problem is the complexity system installation is too complex because you have to find out the cost of photo sensitive element material everything that is bit expensive then uh, over course of time a lens get contaminated because photo sensitive material is required you need uh, opaque surfaces if you expose the material for long time your uh, life span of the equipment will be uh, reduced okay the material will be contaminated and it is sensing the range is affected due to color and the reflectivity uh, reflectivity of the target that is also matters a lot the color reflectivity all those things matters a lot so whenever you are designing a photoelectric transducer the second parameter you have to take care in the consideration uh, so these are the few cons of photoelectric transducer application as i told you it will be used in satellite in space research and used in control engineering especially light dependent resistor to control the street light automatic control of street light you can do some project also so precision measuring devices and these transducers can be used in biomedical applications obviously and the uh, pickups of pulse pneumograph respiration okay then measure of blood pulse uh, pulsatile volume changes that is also very important okay record the body movements with the help of any of the devices like a photo transistor photo diode etc so there is a huge scope in the area of biomedical engineering you can do so many projects in that area in this session i have discussed about what do you mean by photo electric transducer how does it operate what are the types of photo electric transducer and i have explained the working in brief at the end of the session i have listed out the pros and cons finally i have listed what are the major applications of photoelectric transducer finally thank you very much for listening this video